Let's say you want to use a specific theme in your Google Slides. Let's say this one here, this plum one, but you want it to match your school colors. You can't edit what's in the theme. If I go and add these different slides, I don't have the option to edit the font or the colors or things like that. Like I could go in and change the font of just this one slide, but if I add the next slide, I have to keep changing the font every single time. The way that you can make changes to this is actually editing the master. So if you go up to slide up at the top menu and then choose edit the master, what you can do is edit, edit your different layouts here and then when you are adding in new slides in your actual slideshow, they will match whatever you make changes here. So this top one is like the master slide, and this is where you, if you want to change the text like on every single slide, so instead of railway, maybe I want to use Orbitron. I can do that, and you can see it changed it on all these t um, layouts on the left-hand side. Here, this is for the text, and maybe I don't want it to be gray text. I want to change the color of the font and I want it to be this dark blue. I could do that. I could change the font, the size, any of those different things. Now for the individual layouts, I could go in here and I can change the color of that particular font. So I could go through and I just need to do it on all of the slides here. I don't actually need to do it when we get to our main slide. So I'm not going to do it for everyone, but you kind of get the idea. Oops, sorry. Um, you kind of get the idea of what is going on here. Um, I'll change this one last one just because. Oh, so this is the background I need to change. Right click on the background, change background. Here we go. Okay, so you would change everything that you want to change. If you wanted to add an image that's like your school logo, you can add it on this master one and it will go on every single slide or you can put it on the particular ones down here that you want it on. Now, um, you can add in new layouts. So if I click on one, I could duplicate this layout or add a new layout and make some changes and then actually name the layout. So you could add more or you could delete some of these that you see here in this left menu. Now, if you want to change things like the color of the link when you hyperlink something, if I click on colors up at the top for the theme colors, I can choose the different things. So text in background one, text in background two, there's all these different options. But let's say I want my link to be red. I can click on link and type, click on the red and then I'm good to go. So I'm going to click X to exit out of this and you can see now when I add in the new slides, the ones that I changed, you can see have been changed. If I want to hyperlink something, you'll see that my link when I hyperlink it is going to be red instead of like the default color. Now this is great when you are creating slides for students and you don't want them to mess with the slide. A lot of times people will just go and change the background. But here's an example of a edgy protocol called Thin Slides. And the slide here, I can't edit any of this information. I can't delete the picture. The only thing I can do is add in the topic, um, which I added in after the fact but I could go into the master and put it in the master so students couldn't edit it. These are the directions for the students and they can't edit. They could delete a slide, but they can't edit the text on it. Same with the rubric that's listed. Then this is the slide that they get to work with. So they could add in text, they could add in whatever they need to. Um, and if you wanted to, you could add specific text um, boxes in here for them. Right now this is a blank slide. So if I go back into the edit master, so slide and then edit master, when I'm on the blank slide, I think that's which one it is. I need to double check. So if I click on this and I go to layout, I can see that it's blank, which is this one. Um, notice it has this 
uh, text, oops, that was the text box I added. It has this box now because I had actually deleted it. But if I go back to layout, it's here. You can add these boxes where kids can enter text if you want that set up. So that slide, edit master. I was on the one titled blank slide, which is what you see right here. So I have this text box here for them. I could change the color of the font, etc. all that same stuff. But if I wanted to add text box over here, I could add a text box, but that text becomes solid. That's what was used on those instruction pages. If I want it where the kids have the option to type in the text, it's going to be placeholders that I'm adding. So title, subtitle, or body text. So if I click the title placeholder, um, it did not add. Oh, it did add it right here. It's totally tiny, teeny tiny, so I need to just resize it to get it where I want. So here's the title. I can change the color, any of the formatting that you want with it. Okay, so now if I press the X, now it's on this blank slide. So if I go to add more blank slides, you'll see that it has this box. So this is how you can edit the master, which is a really powerful tool.